It was a busy day in Eastland for first responders. Our Mercedes Hernandez has more on what kept firefighters and police officers running around this morning for tonight's top story. It was a chaotic couple of hours for this block in Eastland, starting with a chase. But we heard what we thought sounded like gunfire. It was mid morning when Yehel McDaniel of Cisco led law enforcement on a high speed chase from Gorman, shooting at them all along the way. The chase ending in Eastland after colliding with a DPS officer. Renee Stevens saw McDaniel's arrest from her workplace across the street. As we got to the front door and saw the officers storming the vehicle with guns pulled, we immediately thought, oh, we're going to lock our door. Eastland Fire Chief David Branch was there too, helping clean up the wreckage left behind when. We got paid for the structure fire. A home just a few blocks away started to go up in flames. The fire was pretty much contained to the living room. It is believed to have been electrical. Firefighters quickly rushed to stop the blaze. And while they had it out quickly, the smoke was too much for several dogs inside. We brought them out, we gave them oxygen. But unfortunately, it was too late. The frequency of one call happening during another is a trend Chief Branch says he's seen a lot of this week. That's the third time this week where we were on one call and got another call at the same time. But ultimately, he and his team, as well as other first responders, are ready to handle whatever comes in. In Eastland, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. All right, thank you, Mercedes. Now, McDaniel from that chase remains in police custody. It is not yet certain what charges he is facing.